the farmer at Two Soap, Two Soap Urban Farm. I wanted to give you a quick update because it's been two years and we're into our third growing season and I am so excited. It's like I just started over. A couple of days ago, I just got a bug. I was kind of not, you know, not into it and then it just hit me and I, I just got like an itch and a bug. I planted 56 seedlings this morning. I cannot wait to get into the aquaponics again. Um, there's nothing in there right now except for some onions, so I'm not gonna really show you, but we still have the fish, the same fish that we had uh, a year and a half ago when we got them. Uh, they're alive, they're healthy, they're amazing. They're not ready yet. They'll probably be ready at the end of the summer. I've been growing them slowly on purpose. Well, it's winter and they don't do well in the winter. They're tropical fish and they need 80 degrees and it's difficult to keep a greenhouse, um, the one I have anyway, to keep it warm enough for them. I have to have lots of heaters and it's the expense and no, the solar doesn't cover it. Oh my goodness. I will say that this whole endeavor has cost me probably 10 times more than I thought it would. And any aquaponics enthusiasts out there, if you watch them for any length of time you will see it's a constant um, trying to improve things um, adjusting to your situation whatever it is regarding weather bugs whatever you just never know if there's so much unknown and it's just an ongoing thing you have to keep at it and it does get expensive though it's not cheap and I will tell you anyone who says it's simple once you get it set up and you get it it it's it is turnkey, but it's, you know, there's a lot. It's not that simple. So be prepared to invest a lot of time and a lot of money. If you don't have a lot of time, you're going to have to spend even more money. Um, it's, it's pricey. In the end, I think, um, I'm not there yet. I, I haven't harvested the fish. We've uh, had a lot of basil come out of the system, which is great. We ate a lot of basil. We love basil here. Um, but we're not eating out of the garden right now, and we are not even self-sufficient, not even close. I think it's an ongoing thing. I have a series of videos from a couple who decided to be self-sufficient, and they've been doing this for 10 years. They have big tanks on their property to catch the water. I mean, it's everything, and they talk about how much money they spent, all the mistakes they've made for, in 10 years. They're, they're semi-sufficient. I, I guess at this point they are takes about 10 years to do this, so I'm not close. My dreams were to be completely self-sufficient and to be able to share that and encourage others to do the same. I'm not, um, the sufficiency we have is with our eggs. I have managed to keep very healthy hens. I attribute that to the fact that they have um, a nice house to live in. They have free range of the entire property from sunup till sundown. They are fed organic, soy-free food with nutrients, kelp, and other um, really good things for chickens to keep them strong and um, keep their immune system strong. So I've managed to keep the chickens very healthy. We have a ton of eggs. I just found another spot where they laid them <laughs> today. So I, have, I will claim a little success with chickens at this point. Um, that's... That I, that's it. But in the rest of it, no, I've been a big failure. But it's encouraging. It's encouraging because I have a new season now and I'm excited. So stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing what I'm doing over here. I'm going to be doing some new things. I'm going indoors with aquaponics. <laughs>